interesting to me in the last few years to see that the military is finally really taking some interest in early childhood systems and early childhood programs. Can you talk a little bit about why they're beginning to uh, get more involved in the early childhood dilemma in this country? Well, we, we put on a conference in Washington um, not very long ago, uh, and we had the head of the early childhood program for the armed forces come make a presentation. Uh, the armed forces used to provide probably the some of the worst child care. And then they realized that if you don't support the family, it means you're not supporting the soldier or the sailor or the, or the airman or airwoman or whatever. That there were so many problems that were bubbling over and affecting performance that they said, we need to address this issue. In a period of a little over a decade, they went from being near the bottom to being an exemplary child development program. They now run some of the best, most enlightened, smartest run programs anywhere that I've seen in the world. And again, you know, it was, you could, you could say that they did it for the children, you can say they did it for the soldier. You can say they did it for the family. They did it for all those reasons, and it worked. And so many people stay in the military longer because of that and other benefits. Um, and as you well know, we're moving into a phase in which we have multi-generational military families. That since we have a volunteer force now only, um, it is especially important that we have a military that fully understands democracy and fully supports that. I mean, I've worked in countries where um, things have changed dramatically and changed quickly. Venezuela comes to mind. Um, you know, when, when the military says, you know, well, you guys aren't doing it as well as you need to do, and so we're going to step in, or in Greece or other places. You know, our democracy is fragile. We've only been around for, you know, a couple hundred years. We need to strengthen it and encourage it at every turn, and, and the military is a great place to show that we, civilians, are ready to give back, and we give back in many ways, but providing high quality care for military families is one of those ways.